2024, oh my goodness, think about it. I mean, if you read the news or you see stuff or you're up to, up to I mean, wars, earthquake, how do you have peace? Philippians 4, 7, I love this where it says, and the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. The peace of God will transcend all understanding. I mean, when you look at the Ukraine war and the Israel war and all this stuff, you're going, what? And that's your understanding. Yet the peace of God will come and give you peace during that time. It will take the, the roughness in your, your thoughts and it will make it peaceful. And then it goes on and it says, and it will guard your heart and your mind. And I love this part, okay? Guard your heart and also guard your mind, and all I'm going to do is put a big brain here. Can I just share this with you? How? By taking time every day to give it to Jesus. I mean, the Israeli war has taken a toll on me in the Ukrainian war, and I've had to come to prayer. When COVID hit a number of years ago, I had to come to God. When, when, when I find out bad news from my family, I have to come to God. And as I present it at the feet of Jesus, I ask him to give me the peace that passes all understanding, that transcends all understanding. I ask him to guard my heart so it doesn't become bad, and also guard my mind. Can I just tell you, this, this whole concept of letting God touch you, if you're too busy and you're moving too fast, how is he going to do that? Jesus went away and prayed. Jesus went away and fasted and prayed. Jesus, three times in the Garden of Gethsemane before crucifixion, prayed so that the peace of God could touch him. If you haven't studied it, read the passage about Jesus in Gethsemane. When was the last time you had a Gethsemane experience? Well, you called unto the Father with your turmoil, and he gave you peace. And he guarded your heart, and he guarded your brain. Even though there's wars, famine, earthquakes, everything, you walk through it because you have peace. 2024, let Jesus be your peace. Have a great day.